what you're looking at is a basic breakdown showing or revealing the codes behind what we come to know as 5G technology. Now I'm going to put a link underneath this video description box for anyone who's living under a rock who don't know what 5G is or what it's about. This video is simply me giving my read and reading on 5G and the many tentacles that it is or will be connected to. And as I always say, you guys just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. Now, for starters, whenever we see 666, this is often associated with evil. And that's not necessarily true. Whenever we see the equation of 666, essentially it is an indication of a creation of the matrix or some kind of intent that involves those who are operating as gatekeepers of the matrix. It's not always negative. It can be, but it can also be neutral. And sometimes, yes, it could be symbolic of something good because even in the Bible, it often speaks of how God, so to speak, uses men who do evil to do saintly things in their ignorance. All right. So 5G, there are some positives in this or with this technology. I did a calibration read on it and I got 335 and that essentially confirms what I'm saying it's not all bad however there are like anything else that is artificial GMO um, what we often deem as unnatural there are side effects that some of us end up paying for but then there's the other side where we have such powerful genes and genetics that we adjust, we mutate, we adapt. So this is why I'm reading that this technology would not be all good or all bad because even with the side effects and all of these things that can happen that will be unpleasant because of how resilient and how powerfully made these vessels, these bodies are and how powerful we are on a soul level we will override and adjust so it's really kind of like a non-factor for some of us and even without having strong genetics and a powerful soul the other reality I need you guys to understand is that there are beings who would not mind being plugged into 5G because let's face it there are some beings here who are not going to ascend or move any further than where we are at this point and I'm particularly talking about those who are without souls there's a difference between a soul and a spirit so a soul can have a spirit but a spirit doesn't necessarily always have a soul and I will explain the difference because spirit really does exist in everything by default. But a soul does not exist in everything by default. So there are beings here who pretty much know that this is it. This plane of consciousness or these lower dimensional realms. And so essentially they are using and creating technology to replicate the natural world, those who have souls, those of us who have multi-dimensional capabilities, those who are spirits will utilize and rely on this kind of technology to do what those with souls can do naturally. So don't try to save and warn everybody about what is to come because some of them are just destined to be a part of it anyway. Because they are a part of the matrix. They were created in the matrix. And because this is what they were created from, this is what they will continue to forever be a part of. So 5G is essentially a technological replica of the 
fifth dimension, the natural realm. And again, I've always said, and I'm going to keep saying it because again, there are people coming in for the first time hearing this stuff. They won't make the connection. The matrix simply uses technology and mind manipulation to replicate or copy or mimic the natural world. The only difference is in the natural world, we have far more freedom, far more potential to express those freedoms of expression and creation that the matrix the matrix is extremely restricted extremely condensed having said that I've already stated one of the positives of 5g and that is the circus like now farm animals real animals are being used for entertainment purposes but 5g will free a lot of animals there's also the positives of improving the way we connect with one another all over the world. Now, keep in mind, I'm speaking within context because everybody is not open or tapped into or will be tapped into communicating on a multidimensional level. So no matter what level of consciousness or soul development that one is on, this technology can still be a way of communicating with those who may not have the accessibility or capability to communicate in a way that is natural for us now when I looked at 5G in relation to the virus you know what we're talking about because nowadays if you mention a virus name your content can be really flagged or taken down so we know what we're talking about I'm not reading that these towers are creating or have created this situation. What I'm reading or getting is that these vibrations, these frequencies from the high radiation is charging. Because remember, those who saw my first live, I did a reading on the, the virus itself. And what I absolutely got without a shadow of a doubt that it was created in a lab. So whenever anything is created in a lab or created or man put his hand on it, something natural and put a spin on it, it now has become unnatural. It is GMO. It is part technology. It becomes a part of the matrix, right? I mean, synthetically speaking. So, with this particular virus being part natural and part synthetic or artificial, naturally, an artificial technology can have influence and control over it. Now, stick with me because I'm connecting dots here. So, those who created the technology did not create it with the intent of wiping people out, per se. This is kind of like what I see... It's like a perfect storm. It's like those with the same realm of service to self-consciousness, meaning those who only care about power and control and dominance and what they want without considering what they want or how what they want could negatively impact the whole or the earth. Those who are service to self in different states, in different places in society, operate within their own circles creating things that ultimately come together at the right time and create a perfect storm that's why with everything that's going on around this situation with this quarantine and so-called pandemic there are multiple agendas happening all at once so in essence when one agenda takes off you have people who think like this looking to seize an opportunity to push an agenda that they already had in the wings. All right, you see what I'm saying? So there are those who are using this situation to amplify and falsify cases and numbers. Then you have those who are using this situation to come in and get richer. You have those who are coming in who want to amp up loose the energy that ultimate multi-dimensional beings need to feed off that negative energy that they look to feed off on and I can go on and on and on I don't want to get into that I want to stick to the subject at hand it is about uh, 5G and where I see this thing playing out now based on the current trajectory we're on there will be some resistance to this 
but it looks like it is going to happen in our lifetime no matter what trajectory we are on we are all going to experience 5g the initial phases of 5g unrolling and we will see this this so-called virus situation it will come back and it will be connected with the amplification of the radiation now I also mentioned that 5g is mimicking our multi-dimensional capabilities and potential meaning things like uh, communicating with someone else from another place astrally or telepathically 5g will do this um, technologically right but that does not mean those of us who are already tapping into these multi-dimensional abilities will not continue to develop our abilities because we already see and understand what is going on so you will have those plugging into the technology and not developing their multi-dimensional capabilities but there will also be those who are soulful who will not be tapping or working on their multi-dimensional capabilities because in the beginning they're going to be plugged into this technology as well until some kind of activation happens. and for some souls they will be caught up in the rapture so to speak for another cycle and could possibly activate in the next cycle and then want to ascend and get out it, that's why I say this is really layered and it's very very complex but the bottom line is this when 5G rolls out and they make it cool and normal to turn yourself into a hologram or to project yourself through someone's phone uh, FaceTime someone holographically and all of that there will come a software agreement or contract that will come along with that software because like we use now any software program that we use there's a contract and agreement that comes along with it right so we consent to using this technology we very well may be consenting to having them act abstract levels of our natural consciousness our real consciousness and making it a part of the software or the technology permanently now listen to me closely it will be at this point that they will perfect it to such a point where you won't be able to tell a holographic artificial projection versus a real one and they need consent to do that so again these contracts that come along with these technologies most of us don't read that fine print we don't we need to be very very mindful as this technology rolls out because again it cannot really go to that hyper advanced level without using the energy of real soul beings and the consciousness of those who have very very powerful levels of awareness this part what I'm speaking of specifically goes to those who are who will be immortalized as celebrities but like I also said there will be those who will not mind being immortalized through this kind of technology because they already know they won't be able to go beyond this realm so for those who uh, are spirits who pretty much know they will not move much beyond this realm 5g will essentially be like a paradise to them they won't be bothered by the high radiation because they'll get used to it after a while they'll get acclimated and like I said whenever anything goes up with this level of high radiation and high power there will always be casualties of that but like anything else we adjust we adapt now I mentioned before about the genetics with the DNA and all of that no matter how much DNA they try to map they will never ever outdo source or the creation of source itself they will never outsmart it so people who are running around in fear and worrying about them trapping someone's soul in the matrix forever 
that's just not going to happen. Even if a soul gets trapped for another few cycles, no soul can ever truly be trapped in the matrix for eternity. Eventually, every soul will make it out. But will some souls still get caught up in the rapture in the process? Yes. But again, keep in mind that there is nothing that is created in the matrix that cannot be overridden or adjusted or, or neutralized when one has a soul and when one is in tune with the power of the mind. Remember that saying, mind over matter. There's a reason why this is so it is very true so don't worry do not fear yes we many of us will see this technology come into fruition before we ultimately make it out but take it in stride stay in tune with the core of self keep your mind body and soul as balanced as possible and by all means respect honor and love yourself more than you've ever done before because what you give and do for yourself will by default replicate in the matrix and you will be continuously given the gift that keeps on giving and we need that now more than ever